Hello everybody and welcome to That's Football. Cristiano Ronaldo has signed for his next club and it's a bit of a shock, or is it? He's going to sign for Al Nazir in Saudi Arabia and earn 200 million euros per year, apparently. Um, disappointed, um, yes, but ultimately I just hope this is an indication that Ronaldo has found inner peace because I think, you know, as a United fan and as somebody who absolutely loves Ronaldo the footballer, um, the way it ended at United was confusing, and this is even more confusing. I think that um, Manchester United and Eric Ten Hag would never have had a problem with Eric with with Cristiano Ronaldo coming to them on you know November December the thirtieth and saying I've got a massive offer from Saudi Arabia. Can I go? I think they would have let him go. So I think that the 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 exit interview from Piers Morgan was not to get a move to Saudi Arabia. I think that that interview where he threw the manager under the bus, said he was being disrespected, um, felt that he was better, that was about getting out of Manchester United to make himself free to go to a Champions League club, which ultimately hasn't come to fruition. Um, if you look back at Ronaldo's career, and one of the things I love about Ronaldo is that he's been written off so many times and he always comes back and proves people wrong. And I think this time he hasn't done that. But there might be a silver lining to that because Cristiano Ronaldo has always been the first at training, the last at training. Obsession, obsession, obsession. I've said it before, the thing that made him so great has actually now made him cause him issues. Because that obsession that drove him on, that he could always rely on, that pure ability and hard work, has left him over the last few months. You know, he's not the player he was. Um, and that has made for what has visibly been quite a toxic year for him. Obviously, he's had personal trauma, which is, you know, horrible for anybody to deal with. But on a purely football level, he's, um, you know, you can see the frustration in a United shirt when the cross has come in and he's not getting it early enough or he's offside. You just saw this um, <coughs> frustration and, 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 you know, throwing his hands in the air. And I think that that has been the struggle with Ronaldo for the last year has been the realisation that, you know, his body is not where his mind is. And, and, and many ex-players will say this, the brain, the, the, body, the, the brain is still willing, but the body's not giving. And maybe, maybe that messy World Cup, um, maybe that World Cup in general, because I, I certainly don't think he was thinking like this when he left Manchester United. I think maybe that messy World Cup has made him just have some inner peace to go, this is not a battle I'm going to win. I, I'm not going to go and play for a Champions League club and score, you know, 20 goals in six months and five Premier League, you know, five Champions League goals. I, I, I can't do it anymore. I'm 38 and, you know, I'm 38 in February. This is the end of Cristiano Ronaldo at the highest level. And nobody has ever been paid £200 million a year. And whilst... You know, I've spent the last 20 years making a lot of money. I've never been a mercenary. I've never been about going where the money is. I've been going about, I've always gone where the football challenge is and I've been paid the money because of that. Um, Ronaldo is now going to somewhere, which is purely money. I mean, the, the, the project might be exciting, but let's be honest, it's a Saudi Arabian league. They're never going to be able, not in Ronaldo's life anyway, they're never going to be able to compete with the Champions League or have the glamour of the Premier League. That's not something that Ronaldo's going there for. He's going there to make money. And he might end up in an ambassadorial position, of course. But um, I, I, I just think that um, there's a lot of re reaction on social media in a negative sense about how Penaldo and Ronaldo's finished and everything like that. And I think it's ultimately very disrespectful, but everyone's got the right to react to it how they want. The more I think about it, the more I actually, I, you know, I was initially very surprised because, as I said, Ronaldo, the interview he did, the dr how, how driven he is, I think he genuinely just wanted out of that United contract so that he was a free agent and he could go to Chelsea or any other Champions League club and say, you haven't got to pay a transfer fee for me. I'll take a wage reduction. I just want to play in the Champions League. And I think he assumed somebody would do it. but And maybe somebody did do it but not the offer if I think he wanted. And I think there were offers out there. They might not have been Champions League clubs, but I think there were offers there. I, th I think if I was the manager of Chelsea and I was Graham Potter, I would say to Todd Bowley, who wanted Ronaldo, I would have said, look, get him on a six-month deal. If he fucks about once, we can terminate it. 
And yeah, of course I want him because, but but he's got to understand that he won't be starting. He'll be on the bench, and he's also got to understand that he's going to have to take a pay cut down to two hundred grand a week. Well, two hundred grand a week isn't even a million pounds a month. So he'd be on around ten million pounds a month for six months. Sorry, ten million pounds a year for six months. <clears throat> so you'd earn about six million in six months, and he'd be on the bench. And then you've got Saudi Arabia saying we'll give you two hundred million euros for twelve months. And maybe, just maybe, somewhere in Ronaldo went, I didn't win the World Cup and Messi did. He's 11 goals off me in the Champions League and he's going to probably play for another two or three years. I've got this opportunity to just go, stop at the highest level and go and earn ridiculous money in Saudi Arabia and just set myself up on a different level for the rest of my life. And... If that's what Ronaldo's done, I haven't got a problem with it because he's never been that. He's always been driven to be the very best of the best. And if he's now going, look, I can't be that anymore. I'm actually going to do something financially for my family and friends and everything like that. I think that betrays an inner peace that he has, which he clearly hasn't had for the last 20 years. Because for the last 20 years, it's about defying everybody to be the best. And I think if he doesn't need to do that anymore and he's at peace with this decision, then I think that's a good thing. And I think he has to be at peace with this decision because he doesn't have to make this decision. And I think if he didn't want to do it, he wouldn't do it. So his decision is his own. It's his decision. And we can all make we can all have an opinion on it. But the longer I think about it, the more I think, I think this is actually this could actually be a nice thing for Ronaldo. I think if the fire has gone out, he had to put it out. And if that fire's out. We look at it and go, what a player. He will go down as one of the greatest players to ever play the game. And this is the end. It's not if this is the end. This is the end. You don't go and play in Saudi Arabia and then come back when you're 40. This is the end. And what a journey it's been. And if he's found that peace and that's right for him, I, I wish him all the best for it. Because um, he's given us, <clears throat> especially Manchester United fans, but football in general, some amazing moments. And I think when you look at his career... You know, Messi's a technician. Ronaldo was a beast. You know, power, speed. And you hit 38, you're not going to have that speed anymore. He's not a link-up player. He's not got a magnetic touch. He's not a creator. His game was always going to fall off at some point, and it's fell off. <coughs> and that's where we're at. So, you know what? I don't need to wish somebody who's going to earn 200 million euros a year all the best. But, you know, what a career it's been. And if this is the right decision for him, it's the right decision for him. <coughs> anyway, look, I'm getting a tickly throat now. Let's have some water. I'd love to see what you've all got to say yourselves. Get in the comments. Make sure you smash the like on the video because it's been a great career. And um, make sure you subscribe. And I'll speak to you on to the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.